I am Sarah Jane Ho. I went to Phillips Exeter Academy, Georgetown University in Washington, DC. And also I'd, I'd gone to Swiss finishing school. I'm pioneering the etiquette industry in, in China. China finishing school flourishes. Learning to be a perfect lady proves fruitful. This is my class of the class. So this is me sitting in the front row. In Russia, I went to Swiss finishing school. Many people are very confused, but what is a finishing school? And, and even a lot of media and a lot of friends ask me, they say, oh, you know, you need to teach your students not to spit. Those are not my students. The people who are the overnight mushroom millionaires, they actually don't have an interest in studying etiquette. They're just starting to buy the Hermes bag, right? It's sort of like the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, right? So first, you need food, shelter, and only then afterwards, respect for others, love, you know, honor, etc. The way I see it, my students were buying an Hermes bag 10 years ago, and now they're holding themselves to higher standards. So for them, it's really about cultivating refined taste. And our Cixi is also a French Bernardo brand. So when we order English tea, there will be such a thing. You know, I feel that China needs us now. This is my service to the country. So how much is the course in dollars? The hostessing course for married women is 12 full days, and it's 16,000 US dollars. And then the debutante course for unmarried women is 10 full days, and it's just about 13, 13,000 US dollars. It's not an insignificant amount, but everybody who's taken the class has said it's worth every penny spent. I didn't just take the Swiss finishing school curriculum and, and plunk it down here. I had to totally overhaul it for my market. So, but what I added for the Chinese market is pronunciation of foreign luxury brands. Ferragamo. Introduction to expensive sports. So here are Prince William and Prince Harry. You know, dressage, show jumping. You know, I myself am a, am a passionate show jumper. We have classes such as napkin folding, floral arrangement, personal styling, dress codes. Very nice. But tricky foods is one of the favorite classes of the students. Shenghao is a tricky food, a food. So you need to put this in the roll, and then you can put it in the roll. This is a little bit difficult. Remember, don't put your mouth to the roll. You can put it in the roll. 就跟因为我们中式呢，我们就会比较什么低一点呢、啊，怎么样？欧式不能。Okay. I think that what the modern day Chinese woman is looking for today is a guide, because especially the hostess generation, their mothers grew up during the Cultural Revolution, so nobody could teach them how to use a knife and a fork, and then their daughters are totally westernized. How to eat a banana elegantly with a knife and fork. 切香蕉的这个头，然后呢，就切这个尾，歪的，然后把这个。其实这个人很很多人说，哎呀，为什么别人就是有时候在在就是有一些人会说，哎呀，人家为什么付十万块钱为了学怎么切一个香蕉，就。不需要放在心里，你知道吗？我们教的不只是教你这个，我们还教很多，就是生活方面呢，还是还是一些礼仪精神呢。